Good morning. You listen to FloridaAlien.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, I have two guests. I have Mark Bischoff, the president and CEO of Starnet, and Jeff Gordon, executive director of the Fuse Commercial Flooring Alliance. How you guys doing? I'm doing great, Kemp. Thanks. Doing great after a wonderful day. Yeah, it's been it's been fun. Let's real quick set the stage. We are here together in Birmingham, which is where Barber Motor Speedway is, and we have been invited down here to be part of Chernox's Porsche driving experience. But let's get to that in a minute. First, everybody knows Starnet and Fuse, the two large commercial flooring contractor groups, Starnet with about 170 members, Fuse with about 160 members. Let me ask, how's business so far this year? Business has been surprisingly good, and you, you know we, all, we tell our members now, you know, don't read the newspaper, don't watch TV, whatever, because the news is always so bad. We forecasted 10% growth. We came out of the, the gate a little slow, but it was because the comps from last year were big, because if you remember last January was a price increase time, and so there was a lot of orders placed in ship. But since then, you know, we've got hard numbers through the first quarter of 2023, we're up about 10%, and we see the business continuing. We just had some recent calls with our members. Uh, the volume of activity is good, bidding is good. So it's been better than we expected, and we think this year and even next year are going to be solid. All right. How about you, Mark? We see similar conditions. I think the headline news and some of the challenges with the banking industry are adding in a new wrinkle that everyone's worried about. But our members continue to see good backlog. They have good visibility for this year. They are wondering about next year, but feel good about it. And we think that there'll be some ups and downs this year. Last year was very steady, but this year we may have some softer months just because you're going against rough comps from last year, very difficult comps. And the seasonality is going to start to come back to the business the way it used to be or more similar to the way it used to be. And we had no seasonality last year. It was flat out every month. Isn't it interesting that we talk to the folks on the retail, which is you know roughly 62, 3 percent of the business, and business is down 10 percent, and talk to you two guys, and business is roughly up about 10 percent, right? Yeah, and some of our members are doing better because their mix on bid and negotiated is starting to go back to normal pre-2019 levels, and uh, many of our members got punished. The, the members that were selling in 2020 couldn't sell anything and the bidders did very well the folks that focus on general contractors it flipped a little bit last year where the selling companies did much better and the bidding companies that were tied to general contractors their their business balanced out a little bit now i think it's starting to look like it's returning to the normal mix jeff let me ask you those members that are doing better than other members what's the reason they're doing better you know, I think a lot of it is the segments that they're in. And if you look at the business today, I mean, multifamily is still unbelievable. Everybody says it's going to slow down. We haven't seen that at all. Healthcare, which we're big in, is very strong. The uh, K through 12 educational side is very strong. What's interesting, Kemp, is in some of the markets where we've struggled, and I'll point to Chicago for a minute, we've had some tough months in Chicago but I've heard in the last several months that activity there has never been better. And the corporate piece, which everybody's talked about, that's been affected, there's still activity there, and some of it's been very good. The, the demand for business is still higher than we expected, even with the interest rates where they're at, and we have not seen a softening in the demand. All right, let's get to today, this event. This is actually a three-day event with a dinner that kicks it off. And just to, for our listeners' benefit, this is Sherin you know, run by Thomas Trissel. He invites commercial contractors and, and you guys as well as, as leaders of these groups to come down. There's about 30 people here. A little Kool-Aid drink in the first day, but you, you get to know a little bit more about Chernox and, and how professional their people are. And, and then two days on the Porsche driving track experience. So this is something you don't see much in today's flooring business. What's unique about this experience? Well, I think the advantage that Thomas has is he has talent for marketing. He's borrowing from one of the great marketing companies in the world, Porsche, 
so there's a lot of synergy there. The other thing that he's doing intelligently is adding Kubrit to the mix, which is another one of his brands that he's trying to expose more members to. So he is using this immersive experience with that is going to create some memories for folks to accelerate the acceptance of that Kubrit brand, reinforce what he's done with Shonox over the uh, last decade or so, and he's doing it in a way that's not easily copied, which is important. How about you, Jeff? What do you think his secret sauce is? <laughs> I think this whole event speaks to exactly who Thomas Trissel is, uh, because this is not a conventional event that you would send your customers to. And what I mean by that is, you know, we spent all day on a racetrack driving. I don't know how fast we were going, but most of us started out early in the morning terrified, you know, because it, it was a lot more than what we expected. And this was a full day of driving. I mean, we got there at 7 o'clock in the morning, and we just got back to the hotel 10, 15 minutes ago. And Thomas does everything first class. I don't know how many people would want to take the risk maybe of putting customers on a track in a very fast car strapped in and but it just speaks to who he is I, I mean i look at what's happened with shernox which i believe has been around for about 12 years i think thomas says 10 but i think there was a little bit of a ramp up and they've done a great job marketing that brand he's a true marketer and in what i noticed is how much of his heart and soul he puts into the business and that's reflected in all his employees that are the same way. They obviously love him, and they've just shown us an amazing time. I, I can't imagine anybody who wouldn't buy Shernox after coming to this event. I know why he invited you, Jeff. You made him vendor of the year this but, but I, actually that's voted on by the member. I'm joking, but um, you've got a, a meeting coming up, right? Uh, just a couple of weeks away in, in Phoenix. Yes, our spring shareholder meeting will be in Phoenix. We'll be at the uh, Fairmont Scottsdale Princess, which is a property we've been to before and we have a good program. We'll have the ITR folks coming in to discuss their predictions for the economy. And we have Kay Sargent, who is with HOK, one of the largest firms in the world, and she runs their workplace practice. Uh, I think uh, that will be a good insight for the members because obviously they're connecting with clients who are trying to figure out this back to work and what the commercial office space looks like globally. And we're hopeful that she will share with us the marketing and communication that she's using with these global clients. And we might take a few lessons to improve our business locally. And this is Chuck Bodie's last year as chairman, right? Yes, Chuck has decided he's going to step down as chairman. He's done a wonderful job, and uh, we look forward to bringing in a few board members on May 20th uh, at, the, at our meeting. All right, guys, it's great to spend time with both of you, the leaders of the two professional groups of commercial flooring contractors. been talking to Mark Bischoff and Jeff Gordon, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.